Good morning and happy Friday, Centerville. MassCom is here with another Friday Focus. Join us in our Thanksgiving and Fall Sports Recap. Today is November 19th and I'm Avery Silverbrook. We all know that in the month of November, we have to celebrate Movember. Let's go with Polly and check in on some of our teachers and how their Movember is going. I'm here with Mr. Nupp on Movember. I'm here with Mr. Nagel and we're gonna ask him some Movember questions. And um, we're gonna be asking him some Movember questions. When's the last time you shaved? 2021. Uh, I think Halloween. I think it was October 31st. Who do you think is gonna have the longest beard? I think we have a new teacher in South Unit Mr. Bagwell, his beard is pretty choice. Summerlot's beard usually, he, he usually shapes it up well. He does some type of design. That's usually pretty solid. Mr. Nuff can grow a pretty, pretty good beard. Who's going to have the shortest beard? Well, we do have some teachers here on the staff who, like men, who are blonde. And so when they're, they try to grow a beard, you can't see it. Like Mr. Taylor downstairs who teaches math. It's, it's no bueno. No bueno. Uh, me, 100%, by far. Yeah. Right, Mr. Taylor over here, he, he's not great in the beard category either, but I'm, I'm going to go with me. I'm, I'm pretty uh, confident in that one. Wish them all the best of luck. I know that growing hair is, is difficult for some people, and, and uh, <laughs> I just suggest maybe they, they roid up. <laughs> take, take some testosterone, see how it goes. Uh, I struggle in the beard category. Uh, some, you know, sometimes when I go down to the uh, lunchroom, they still ask me to put my lunch coat in, so, uh... All right. Looking pretty good so far. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you to all the teachers and students who helped raise money for men's cancer. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. How much Thanksgiving trivia do you know? So, what meats were served on the first Thanksgiving? Turkey. No. Well, <laughs> what? Ham. Uh, chicken. Goose. Beef. Luke was right, it was goose. Let's go. What? Venison. Okay. Venison, what is venison? How many calories on average are consumed per person at Thanksgiving dinner? 5,000. Oh, that's a lot. Is it? Close. Four thousand. Three thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand five hundred? Uh, yeah. Four thousand five hundred? Yes. Which president first ordered a national day of Thanksgiving? George Washington. Yep. Yes. I forgot that, but that's <laughs> In what month did the first Thanksgiving take place? Like, take place. September. Yep. What percent of Americans skip turkey uh, on Thanksgiving? 75%. Uh, 20%. 85. 10%. 15%. 12%. 15. 12%. 25. What? Whoa. That was just, what? that was a rant. That was, that was just a... I love how he said 75. <laughs> Do Americans prefer oh. apple pie or pumpkin? Pumpkin. pumpkin. Apple. apple. It's apple. What? I, it kind of just took it as, that was with the answer. No. <laughs> I love pumpkin. What turkeys actually gobble? None. I don't know. I just want to, I don't know. <laughs> that was a trick question. Are there types of turkeys? Male turkeys. Yeah. Oh. oh. I, wow. I knew it was male turkeys, but I thought it was like a trick question. How many people participate in the Macy's Day Parade each year? 8,000. 50,000. Oh, 20,000. 20,000. 5,000. Oh, wait, it's eight. Yeah. Oh, I've got 8,000. I was going to say 7,000. Dang. Looks like a What state consumes the most turkey? Oh. Probably in oh. Eastern. Oh. Uh, Montana. Ohio. Texas. <laughs> I don't know, like. California. California. Is it really? Uh, yeah, because yeah, there's more California. people. Really. They're so anti, like, wow. everything. everything. Yeah. yeah. They would never eat They're like vegans and vegetarians. Yeah, I would have thought it was easier. It's, yeah. vegan, it's vegan turkey. Statistically, what is America's oh. favorite? Potatoes. Oh. Mac, yeah, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac Green beans. Stuffing. Stuffing's nasty. Is it? Oh! Stuffing is nasty. No, I didn't read these. I didn't read these. I totally guessed that one. I totally guessed that one. I swear, I swear. <laughs> Stuffing is bad. Yeah, well, I think we know who won. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, great job, guys, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Good job, Luke, for knowing your trivia.
With fall sports coming to an end, we interviewed the captains from each fall team. In the regional semifinals game when I saved the final PK to move us on to regional finals. Definitely the uh, Anderson game. Walking down the 18th fairway. Probably winning sectionals. Over the summer when we go to team camp every year, and there's this like shed in the middle of the woods where we would all go and like there was showers in it and we'd just play music and have a good time. I think the most memorable moment of the season was probably when we won the Northmont meet. Beating Springboro for the second time at Springboro. Um, I would say probably when my partner Carmen and I made it to districts. Being uh, Springboro for my first playoff win in my high school career. Um, I want to shout out the whole team for how successful we were and the work that we put in this season. Um, I'm definitely going to have to say Luke Shrivers, uh, sophomore goalkeeper. Uh, definitely Morgan Rogers. Um, I would say Jenna. Uh, Stuart Backus and uh, Eddie Stout. Kylie Wolf and Emily Hall. Uh, Connor Boring for breaking the school record. My friend Anna Grace. My co-captain Kayla. Cam Smith, Ryan Kiefer, and Nick Britter. Um, I want our team to have good team chemistry like this past season and maintain a winning mentality. Uh, I just want the, all the seniors who are upcoming to know that we need to keep creating the same environment we've had this past couple of years. I want to leave behind a legacy where the team can continue to play the best that they can and continue to support each other through the good and bad. I want the golf team to keep a good mindset like they did this year. Legacy of showing that you don't have to be the fastest person on the team or the most outgoing, but you can still leave an impact on the team. We need to, we need to look at this year as sort of a low bar and aim for first or second next year, you know, make the podium. Um, I just want everybody to, you know, have fun, play their best, just put everything into every moment they have. Probably just to have everyone as close as we were this year. Um, just to have fun, uh, enjoy all the little things. Uh, time flies by, so just enjoy it all. Sounds like the fall sports had an amazing season. What would Thanksgiving be without mashed potatoes? We go to Mo and Izzah to see who can make them the best. Hi guys, Mash Time's here in the culinary room and we're doing a mash off. As Thanksgiving's approaching, me and Izzah had a conversation about who can make better mashed potatoes. We just got our potatoes out of the microwave and we're gonna get to mashing. These are so hot, I cannot. Right, who do you guys think is gonna win, me or Izzah? Is a is a is a. Oh, it's about to get real. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, so walk us through the steps. Like, what's your so, process? What so do you think first, you I doing? mash the potatoes with the mixer, and then I like to put some butter, and it just melts because of the heat of the right. potatoes. I need salt. Um, um, next goes in garlic powder. I like to be generous with my garlic powder. Impressed with yourself. Mm -mm. <laughs> I didn't realize this needed this much salt. It tastes. What was? Why do I feel I like I need more salt? They need more salt though. Potatoes and salt—it's like a thing. They like—they're like cousins. They're both good, but this one's better. In my opinion, I think Izzas are better. There's like red stuff. I don't, I, mashed potatoes aren't red. Literally not even a contest, guys. Can I keep this? This one. Izzo, you win. I would say tips. If you're going to make mashed potatoes and take them to Thanksgiving, I think the number one tip, consistency is key. What's so yeah, say? use extra butter, use extra yeah, heavy butter, whipping cream. Um, yeah, yeah, don't use too many spices. It's mashed potatoes. It's supposed to be simple. Not spicy. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye. Great job on those mashed potatoes, Isla. Thank you guys for the delicious recipe. To wrap up this week's episode, we present a small trailer for the CHS Theater's new show, Clue. Have a great weekend, Centerville.